hello my beautiful people how are you it's Nadia and I'm back today in this video I want to talk about the spiritual symbolism of butterflies moths and dragonflies All right, my people, so let's get into the spiritual symbolism of butterflies, moths, and dragonflies. And let's start with butterflies. Now, uh, butterflies are a powerful symbol of life, and they represent things like ascension, uh, spiritual rebirth, transformation, creativity, and joy. In ancient Egypt, they symbolized the immortality of the human soul. And it was said that butterflies greeted the deceased in the afterlife. Now, even though all, it, it doesn't matter to me which color it is, they all kind of carry a lot of the same meanings or the same symbolism. But I did have, or I have had specific experiences with different colored butterflies. So I wanna share some of the meanings that I've found or the symbolism of these specific colors for these butterflies. Now let's start with the orange butterfly. Now. The orange butterfly represents your connection to source. It also represents the sun. And when you see orange butterflies, it may mean, or it may carry a message that it's time for change. The yellow butterfly represents hope, happiness, and prosperity. The green butterfly represents growth, flourishing, and good luck. The blue butterfly represents kindness, peace and harmony. The red butterfly represents passion, excitement and vitality. The white butterfly represents purity and it may also mean that spirit is trying to contact you. It may represent a visit from spirit or that spirit is trying to uh, communicate with you. The black butterfly represents rebirth, destiny, transformation and going through phases and then the purple butterfly which they say is very rare represents the esoteric freedom and positive change positive change I've never seen an actual purple purple butterfly I've seen a lavender colored butterfly before but they are said to be rare uh, like you don't see them very often and they do represent the esoteric uh, freedom and positive change now I have seen many different color butterflies at many different times in my life, uh, but specifically the experience I wanna talk about was just two weeks ago involving a black butterfly. Now before I saw this butterfly, um, this was the day that I had actually made the angel number video 1122. So I made that video the same day that I saw this butterfly. But before coming out, coming out to make this video, I was thinking about what was going on in the world. I had been, you know, really thinking about what is going on right now in the world at this time. What am, what am I doing? What, you know, what's going on in my life at this time? I started to think about a year before what I was doing. And a year before I had not started making this uh, channel yet or making these videos, but I did start to awaken a year before now. And now a year later, we are going through a lot of change in the world. And I was trying to figure out and, and you know understand if there was some sort of connection to what I'm doing right now, the messages that I'm sharing, and what's going on in the world right now. I was trying to figure it out and understand it. And I you know, wasn't really sure, but I was just trying to understand. So I'm heading out here to make the video on the angel number 1122. And on the way here, I see a dead hawk on the side of the road. And I see the hawk and I'm like, wow, you know, I've, I've seen a dead bird here and there in my life, but a dead hawk, I've never seen a dead hawk. And this hawk was pretty big. So as I'm heading to make the video, I'm thinking like, wow, how did that hawk die? Such a big bird and they're so powerful. And you know, I respect them. I'm just like, how did that bird die? And so I get out here to make the video. I set up and then a black butterfly flies in front of me. So now I'm like, whoa. So just saw a dead hawk and then a few minutes later now a black butterfly and you know that one of the uh, uh meanings that they say with black butterflies and certain birds like owls and everything they symbolize death 
So for me to just see a dead hawk and then a black butterfly, I'm like, whoa, what are you trying to tell me something? I was wondering what that meant. And it wasn't until about a week later that I was able to really put it together to where it made sense. So clearly, the awakening that I started going through last year was to put me in a position to now be able to help raise the vibration, which is something that we clearly need right now. I feel like it was also a message for me to stop worrying about death or stop uh, uh, thinking about death every time you see a symbol of transformation, a black butterfly or an owl or certain things that they compare with death. It's not always death. Death is only one form of many types of transformation. Our life, we transform. When we go through an awakening, we're going through transformation. The way we think, when our ego, when we're losing our ego, we're going through a form of transformation. It can be an ending of a relationship. It can even be a beginning of a relationship. It could be a uh, renewal of an existing relationship. So it's not always uh, the end of something. It's not always the beginning of something. It's not always death. It's not. There's so many types of transformation. Death is only one of them. So we should stop being so fearful and looking at death every time we do see a symbol of transformation. I feel like that is the message that I got from it as well. Now let's move on to the moth. The moth represents determination, attraction, psychic abilities, and it even represents our weakness sometimes, our weaknesses. Um, if you're seeing moths, moths could mean that you are ready to show the world who you are. And it can also be a message to, uh, to have no fear and to move forward into the light. The moth, just like the butterfly, represents transformation as well, but it symbolizes finding light in the darkness. One specific experience I had with seeing moths. Uh, it was last year, it was 2019 in September. I believe there was a full moon at some point in that month. I don't remember what day it was, but I decided to put my crystals out. I knew it was gonna be late at night when, the, when it was at when the, the time of the full moon in the sky. It was probably about 11 or something like that. I, I don't remember, 11.30, something, whatever. I stayed up and I was in the garage and while I'm in there with my crystals, you know, uh, have them out, you know, where the moon can shine on the crystals. There was at least five or six moths that came into the garage and they were all hovering around the light, so I had turned it off so I wouldn't attract more of them. But at that time, I didn't think anything of it. It's just moths. I, I didn't, you know, at that point, I wasn't looking at the messages from the universe or the symbolisms or, or signs from the universe as much. But once I did find the meaning and the symbolism of the moth, it made a lot of sense for me and what I was doing at that time. So at that time, I was feeling uh, quite determined about moving forward. I was very nervous and shy when it came down to making these videos and creating this channel. But at that point in time, I was really determined to keep moving forward and to keep, you know, pushing myself out of my comfort zone and continue making the videos. But I also, at that time, started to have a lot of interesting things happening with the sounds in the air and the the ringing and the the voices during the astral travel experiences and stuff like that and I started to realize that I may have some dormant psychic psychic abilities that may grow as time moves on so for me to have all of those thoughts at that time and see that the uh, the moth represents determination and psychic abilities and having no fear and moving forward and ready to let the world know who you are. All of those things make a lot of sense for how I was feeling at the time when I saw all of those moths in the garage. Now with the dragonflies, the dragonflies represent adaptability, connection to spirit beings, self-realization, self-awareness. Uh, the dragonfly carries a message to break free from old patterns, and to stop taking things so seriously. Uh, in ancient times, the dragonfly represented immortality, flexibility, speed, and lightness of being. I've seen dragonflies many different times in my life. 
Um, usually, I see them when I'm with my daughters. We'll be out, you know, taking a walk and we'll see a bunch of them flying around. And so, um, not taking uh, things seriously is, you know, uh, something good in, in comparison to that. But one specific time I remember me and my sister went to Costco. This was after I had my second daughter. Um, and she was a tiny little baby and she was at home, but I went with my sister to Costco to get some things. And when we were out there, as soon as we walked out of the store, Dragonfly just flew up and landed on my thigh and it was just sitting there. And a joke my sister made was, oh, maybe it's mommy. She came to visit us because we say sometimes that my mom and dad visits us in the form of ladybugs and, and you know, uh, dragonflies, butterflies and things like that. And seeing that the dragonfly does represent a connection to spirit beings that kind of uh, connects with uh, with me, with what she said, as well as the experience with the, the dragonfly that just decided it wanted to sit on me and hang out for a while. Um, aside from that, adaptability. I know I was definitely adapting at the time to having a new baby. So that's kind of like the connection I see with the dragonfly. So that's it everybody. That's the butterflies, the moths, the dragonflies, and the spiritual symbolism of them. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you soon. Peace and blessings.